uh, fascinating pictures. The first oh, wow. pictures coming in uh, from Pragyan. Those are the first pictures oh, that oh, we are getting. Commander. And, uh, you know, the, uh, this is the first pictures emerging from the rover. Fascinating, as we wow. said. You'll get many, many more such pictures over the days ahead. Each of them unique in many ways because we've never seen such pictures in the past. Uh, uh, Dr. Nike, it's a, it's a rather beautiful place, I can tell you, the moon. <laughs> well, <laughs> if you yeah, think so. that's true. Actually, that's you know, the uh, selfies yes. are so beautiful that, that uh, really it uh, becomes attractive, no doubt about it. You know, to there, be there, the there will be those yeah. who want, you know, Dr. Nike as a former Isronian, You'll probably want to take a selfie with that. You see, there are people in India who are already sending us messages saying, how do we take a selfie with the moon in the background? Now, you can't take a selfie with the moon in the background, but you can certainly enjoy the pictures that are playing out on air at the moment. Those are the images. But, but, but you know, uh, Dr. Naik, I wanted to, how are you going to celebrate? As, as a former Estonian, Dr. Somnath is there with his, with his team. As someone who's lived through these various missions, how will you celebrate, Doctor? Yeah, actually, uh, you know, I have got uh, invitations from various schools lined up in the uh, immediate week now. And uh, everywhere I'll be going and there is, uh, I'm going to share the enthusiasm of the students and the joy of the people there who are attending and wow. their curiosity. I let to answer all the questions and that is going to be my celebration. Lovely. Dr. Kale, how are you celebrating? Vikram Sarabhai is someone, you know, you were part of that center and, you know, we'll be, in my last segment, I'll be talking about those who helped us uh, arrive here, but how are you going to celebrate? Well, basically, uh, as what uh, Suresh was just now saying, I'm also going ahead with... Uh, various lectures one of the lectures is coming up in the university also uh, in pune university various schools wherever i have been visiting that is one aspect and second thing is uh, discussing with the students as to how oh, this entire good. thing was planned in terms of the trajectory and how they could design similar trajectories for the future missions also as, uh, as, as i said what what space is, I said this on Twitter today, space, space is a bit like life and sport or sciences because it's a baton relay. You move from one generation to the next, passing on information, passing on your wisdom. And we have moved from 1962 where the first tentative uh, center was set up to ISRO being set up 19, uh, formally 69. Yeah. Uh, to where we are now in 2023, we've gone through the ups and the downs. And we've come up triumphant and it shows that Indian science is right there at the very top. And that's why today should make us feel so proud. Just to give you a history, India's space pioneers, don't forget the great Dr. Homi Bhabha, known as father of India's nuclear science program, died tragically in an air crash in 1966. But what would we be today without the likes of Dr. Homi Bhabha, formulated India's three-stage nuclear power program. Let's not forget Dr. Vikram Sarabhai industrialist and scientist set up first rocket launching station in India founded India's space research organization a truly remarkable man of multifaceted talents this country and the lander named after Vikram Sarabhai and rightly so not after a politician but after a scientist as it should then Dr. Satish Dhawan don't forget about him father of experimental fluid dynamics research helped formulate satellites like INSAT I, R, IRS and PSLV, Dr. Satish Dhawan worked closely with Dr. Sarabhai and they were the ones who took India's uh, space program forward. Let's not also forget our former president, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, headed the Pokhran nuclear test programs, pioneered indigenous guided missiles, Agni and Prithvi guided launch of India's Rohini satellite in the near Earth orbit. Let's not forget K. Sivan, key role in the development of the ISRO vehicle program led Chandrayaan 2 mission and was part of Gagayan, uh, Gaganyaan's mission. Remember, there was that tearful scene when uh, it, uh, Chandrayaan 2 had that failure while landing. He broke down. But sir, today you too deserve a lot of credit. Remember, these are all space pioneers. And I believe today is a day to celebrate science more than politics. We can talk politics on another day, but from 
Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru to Prime Minister Modi, each of them have played their own role in helping push forward this program. In the last nine years, much has been achieved. In the previous years also, in my generation, I will not forget Rakesh Sharma, squadron leader, going into space. Yes, Russian mission, but there was, for in 1984, that was what we got. And we celebrated that as we will celebrate today. We have conquered the moon as a country, as a people. We should be proud of our scientists and what they've achieved. Uh, I think that in itself, as I keep maintaining, the moon has fascinated India for centuries. We've always looked up to the skies, looked up to the moon. It's come a step closer today.